This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this super awesome video. Okay, I know I have a microphone. I know I have a microphone. All I'm trying to do guys is to stop the echo in this room, okay? I just wanna see if it helps. Obviously I can't hold a microphone for every video. It depends on what the video is. But for now, we're gonna give it a go. So before we start my merch, because I'm wearing it, this is my brand new merchandise. It is available on the, well, on my merch website and the link for which is in the description. So if you fancy it, then have a go and click the link. So I was looking around on Instagram and I think I literally just typed in the hashtag philodendron hybrid, right? I just want to see what's out there because I know a lot of work's been done at the minute. And what I found, guys, surprised me. It surprised me because I have a list for you today of around about 17 new philodendron hybrids. Obviously, people are buying them now, but they're going to become more popular. But I can't help notice that there is a certain theme with literally nearly every single hybrid in this list. So philodendron Florida beauty has been extremely busy. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I actually cannot believe how many hybrids are being made with Florida Beauty specifically at the moment. Now on this list, there are other plants. It's not just Florida Beauty hybrids, but I'm just letting you know now that a lot of them are. But they've made some very interesting results. What I will say about these hybrids is that they're all F1 hybrids, which I believe stands for filial one, which basically means, guys, it's the first generation of these hybrids, which basically means when you see a hybrid of a plant, it's not necessarily going to be similar to another hybrid of the same plant that you see, okay? They're going to vary a lot. And there are one or two examples on this list where I make my point. So if you see something that you like on this video or you see some you like online, be very careful because you might not necessarily get the same thing somewhere else. This might be a thing where you want to go to a specific shop to get it. I can't even get my words out today. It's all the S's. Right, now that we've got that out of the way, in no particular order, let's go through these hybrids. So, the first hybrid is actually, the first hybrid, guys, has gone on my wish list. It's gone on my wish list. So the first hybrid is Philodendra Florida Beauty by Philodendron Tortum. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a Philodendron Caramel Marble, but obviously the variegation is different. The petioles are a bit longer, I'm pretty sure. They're not quite as chunky. Um, and obviously, yes, the leaf shape is different. It's a different plant. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm getting the vibes of it for sure. I really like it, though. And again, I've seen many pictures of this plant, and they're not always same. So if you don't like the picture I'm showing you right now, have a Google because you might like it. And plot twist, this is the theme for the whole video. So I do like it and it has gone on my wish list because I really like it. Because obviously I have a lot of hybrids to choose from, but what I definitely did not choose was this next one. I'm sorry guys, I I don't I don't like this at all. I don't even like this a little bit. So the next hybrid that I want to show you is Philodendron Florida Beauty by Philodendron Bobsy. Now it's probably no surprise to some of you that have been with me for a long time that I am not a fan of Philodendron Bobsy. I never thought it looked good. I know it took off in COVID, but honestly, I'm calling it now. I think a lot of people went for that because it was 2020 and because people were trying to get like the new plant. I realize I'm probably insulting people that like this plant, but honestly, it's kind of ugly. And to be honest, guys, the hybrid in this case does not look much better. I'm sorry, it does not look much better. Like, it hasn't improved the Bobsy at all. It just looks like a mishmash. And when you go through this list with me today and you see the other hybrids on this list, I would be very shocked personally if someone actually picked this because I don't like it. Each to their own, each to their own, but I don't like it. So next up, we have Philodendron Florida Beauty by Philodendron Polypoidioides. Can't say it today. So it, it looks good. I've not seen many of these. This is actually the only photograph I found. To me, this looks a lot like a variegated Philodendron Longolobatum. It looks quite similar. So I guess if you like that kind of thing, this might be something that you're like, oh yeah, snatched, love it. There's something like slightly new and spicy, which ironically, you know, this is what I find really ironic. I bet if there was a variegated longer low bottom out there, which I'm sure there is, it's probably gonna be more expensive than this because by the sheer abundance of hybrids I've found on the internet, guys, probably means these might end up being like quite reasonably priced at some point. Yes, all right, not maybe straight away, but I have a feeling they'll come down very quickly because we all know the climate we're in with plants at the minute. It's like a mile a minute. Prices just drop really quick. So I am quite 
hopeful for, well, most of the plants on this list, to be honest, because I think they're just going to have a really nice, fast journey to people's collections because I think they're going to be reasonably accessible. So that's nice. It's not personally for me, um, but the next one kind of is based on the photograph I'm looking at. So the next one is Philodendron Florida Beauty by Philodendron Mayoi. I hope that's how you say it. You know, guys, you know, I can't, I can't pronounce plant names, okay? You've been here for years. Hopefully, maybe you know this. Moving on. I really quite like this. It's sort of taken a Florida Beauty, made it fatter and a little bit more ruffly, and I think it's really nice. Now, don't get me wrong, the photograph I think I'm showing you is the one I'm looking at, and it's very plentiful on variegation, and it's a very good looking plant taken from the right angle. Obviously, you can't see all the petioles kind of creeping out or whatever, so it's obviously looking very bushy and very sexy. So, I guess find your individual plant. Hopefully in this scenario, a lot of websites, given that they are F1 hybrids, a lot of websites are sort of selling them like, how do I put that? What am I trying to say? Websites are going to use individual pictures for the individual plants and label them as an individual plants. It's like, so on my shop, I would do like A, B, C, D. I'm hoping that generally speaking, when these hybrids are sold, that's what happens um, because obviously they're going to be variable. So I really like this one though. And I would, I, I can't remember if I put this on my wish list. I might have, I might have. Right, next, next we have Philodendron Florida Beauty. How busy has Florida Beauty been? Do you know what I'm, you, like... She gets around, that's all I'm saying. Florida Beauty by Pareso Verde. Right, I have two photographs to show you and I will probably just put both of them over my face because no one cares. Right, so I can show you them side by side. I don't know what I've put on what side. On one side, you've got a more Pareso Verde looking hybrid of the two. It's got some nice lobes on it. It's elongated. It's kind of triangular. There's ruffles, but there's not like, it's not spiky or anything like that. It's just, it's chill right? It's chill. On the other side, you have my my favorite option if I was going to pick, and that is the more spiky, ruffly, just aggressive looking plant. But I want to show you these two together because this is exactly what I'm talking about with F1 hybrids, guys. You're going to get very different plants. It's possible, though I have googled Florida Beauty by Pareso Verde, it is possible that this picture, someone has hybridized them the other way around, so you've got the mother and the father and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's possible that's happened, but it still proves my point that with hybrids like this, you get very different results on a plant-to-plant -plant basis. So I just want to, I just want to let you know, guys, I want to let you know. There's a very good example of it though. I really like the second one though. But then if I like the, the, the one we just talked about, the Philodendron Mayoi, I, I'd probably just go for that. Why complicate it? Plus I think that's more common than this one. Like the Mayoi is around as well as the Totem, as well as Bobsy. So if you wanted this one, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to get. Not by much. I wouldn't have thought guys, not by much, not in today's standards. Hold on for one second. I want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you want to create a website quickly and easily, then Squarespace is the tool for the job. There's a huge selection of up-to-date templates that are fully customizable to your own branding. I've been using Squarespace for around three years now, and honestly, I'd never go anywhere else. Squarespace now features something called Blueprint, which guides you through an even more in-depth customization process, allowing you to very quickly personalize and launch your own website online. You can choose the sections that you want on each page, as well as any other suggested pages that Squarespace offers you. You can change all manner of colors and fonts to suit your style, as well as the conversational style that the AI uses. I know. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And back to the video. The next plant I want to talk about is the philodendron. This is the way I've got it written around. Billetai by Florida Beauty. And to be fair, the picture I'm showing you is very Billetai. I think we can both agree. So I, that's probably the correct way that that is written around. And it's nice. I almost want to say, based on this image, that if you really wanted a variegated Billetai and these end up being cheaper, this isn't a bad shout, guys. Because honestly, from what I can see, it's not looking entirely different. It still looks very Billetai. So okay, you've got a bit more 
frilling like down the edge or whatever and the lobes at the top are a bit different but it's you know what I mean like it's not a million miles away this I, I, I hesitate to call it a dupe because obviously guys in the plant world there is no such thing as a dupe but if I were to make a dupes video I would probably put this in it as like an alternative to a variegated build type so it's quite nice it's is it for me maybe at a good price maybe I'm trying to not maybe have too many variegates. I, in fact, how many variegates have I got in here? Oh shit, I've got hardly any variegates. I've never noticed that. Apart from the Monstera, one Gloriosum up there, I've not really got many variegates. Hmm, okay. I mean, I have always said that, to be fair. So anyway, next plant is Florida Beauty by Patriciae. Again, could be the other way around. Now, I've only included one picture here, but I saw on this person's Instagram, they had a video of two of these plants next to each other, right? Uh, Florida Beauty by Patriciae. And they looked entirely different, which again would have proved my point, but it was a video and I couldn't get a very nice still of it to show you. So I've, I've landed on this picture. This picture to me shows a lot of Patriciae in there because it's long. It's not as narrow. But you know, you, you get the point. Um, it, it's, it's very, very nice. And I would genuinely be curious to see how that develops when it gets mature, like i.e. how long it gets. Because obviously Patricia is very long. Florida Beauty is not. I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of interested. It's not the most interesting one on this list, but it's it does interest me. Right, the next one does not interest me because... I think I fell out of love with this plant very quickly. So the next plant we have Florida Beauty by Lupinum, Philodendron Lupinum. I've had a I've had a long history with Philodendron Lupinum, okay? I got it into the shop in 2020 and I loved it. I thought it was the best thing ever. And the more I sold, the worse it got because half of them, even though they're tough, soon as you start shipping them, they're not tough anymore. Really weird. That's why I used to do video go videos, guys, where I would say like, oh, is this plant good? Like, how does it ship? You can have a really tough plant that does does not ship. Trust me, I've been there. So I would have put that in that category. But looking at this, I, I'm doing it wrong. It'd be cool to see what it looks like mature because a lot of people don't even know what lupinum looks like mature because nobody bothers to, to grow it and find out really. But I, that this doesn't interest me at all. Yes, cool. It, it's been hybridized. Love that. But I'm just not, I'm not here for it. And I couldn't really find any of these. This was like the only one I found. So guess it's not that easy to find. All right, the next one is a hybrid of two hybrids. And I thought, well, why not? So this next one, guys, is Philodendron Florida Beauty by Mayoi crossed with Mayoi by Billatai. So you've got like a ooh going on. Does it resemble anything? It does resemble something. Uh, actually, when I'm scrolling back up at all the images, no, it doesn't resemble any of them. You would think it does by this point getting to this plant. I totally appreciate that if you're looking and you're like, oh, seen that before. It is actually different. I've just scrolled up and checked. So you can definitely see the Billatai in it and you can definitely see honestly more mayoi than florida beauty but that makes sense because when you look at the plants involved you've got four plants and two of them are mayoi so that makes total sense ah oh, science is great isn't it Science is great. So we have that there. That doesn't interest me. I think there's others on this list that personally interest me a little bit more than that. So that's just not for me. The next one, however, guys, I think you might like. You might like. You might not. The next plant is Philodendron Florida Beauty by Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Yes, I know. This is young and it, it's done some stuff based on this specimen here. It's, I think it's, this is Kidder's photo. So no doubt he will have loads and no doubt they will be all presenting differently. This is very interesting. I imagine he's going to want one that is still long, like keeps the length. This one doesn't look like it's going to do that. This one's gone very, very wide. It's almost like it's the spiritus and it's been squished up a bit and it's been kind of widened out and we've yet to see what happens when it gets mature. But I am very interested to see what happens. It would be very nice. Think, Picture this, guys. You can't see it in my frame. That's really, really sad. I have a, a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti up here, right? What I would really love is basically a Spiritus Sancti with a little bit more of a, like a frill on the lobes at the top, maybe a little bit of frilling on the way down, but still slim and still very long. If you can find me one of them, that's great. No, no doubt it'll be variegated as well. It is quite curious as well, guys, that the variegation's passing on to all of this stuff during hybridization. It's That's very interesting to me. Either that or it's not passing down in hybridization and it's being manufactured to be variegated. That could happen. That's 
you know, that could happen. That could happen. Anyway, not the point. So yeah, I want to see that mature. Let's keep an eye on that. Are we out of Florida Beauty now? Oh, we're out of Florida Beauty, guys. So if your hatred of Florida Beauty ensues, then you are safe now. So the next plant I really, really like and I would probably put it on a wish list because this has some potential. This has some potential, guys. This here is Philodendron Billeti by Philodendron Glory Awesome. And it's quite sexy. It's quite sexy. The image I found is absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, I couldn't find many images of this on the internet. So I don't think it's like a, I don't want to say it's not widely known. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not necessarily circulating well at this point. So we'll see about that. But it looks really nice. You can see all the bill of tie in that, all the bill of tie, which makes sense because obviously the build tie is going to be more dominant. But you can see Gloriosum in all the right ways. The veining is a little bit better, and I think the plant has become a little bit more, like, pillowy, like, cushiony. It just looks really plush. But it's still, I think it's taken the the waxiness from the build tie and not the velvetiness from the Gloriosum. But it's just really nice. I think this is really, really nice. I would love to see that keep going. should probably follow whoever that was, if it was an Instagram post. I can't remember. All my links, by the way, for the images are in the comments. So feel free to go and look. I have numbered the links according to the numbers of the plants you see on the screen. So the next two plants I was supposed to be showing you, okay? I was supposed to be showing you, but I've realized I have a microphone in my hand and I'm not going to be able to do both. So I will have to settle for photographs, guys. But the next hybrid, the next two hybrids technically, might not be of any surprise to you because I own these hybrids. So the first hybrid is the one that I absolutely will not shut up about because it's lovely. It's one of my favorites. Again, still probably F1. It did look a little bit different to the other ones in my shop, but the plan I want to talk about is the Philodendron Jose Bono by Tenu. And I'm not sure which way around it is, but if I was to hazard a guess, I'd say Tenu is first. Just because, sorry, I'm looking around at it. Can you see it from here? Hang on. It's here. Yeah, you can see a leaf here, I guess. So it's it's got a lot of rutches and it's very Tenu, like even the petioles. They're Obviously, they're a little bit thicker than Tenu just because of the Jose Bono side of it, and it is a little bit more stout, but generally there's a lot of tenue in there, so I would hesitate to say that was the, the main pair in there. But that's a very gorgeous plant. I absolutely adore it. I talk about it all the time because if you like jungle vibes, but you want something a bit bushy and a bit compact and it looks more like a bush, but it still climbs. Perfect plant. So easy. Does grow... It, it casts quite pale. Obviously, that's a new leaf there. But the whole plant, I'll show you that leaf there. Yeah, in my hand. I mean, it, it, on camera, it looks the same as the others and I'm feeding it really well. But it can look a bit pale. Um, That's just something I've noticed with the plant. But I'm pretty sure Tenue is kind of on that vein anyway. But honestly... Could not recommend them more. Could not recommend them more. Beautiful plants. The next plant I want to talk about is philodendron. I can't remember which way around this is. Let me just envision the plant. Oh, I think Billy Ty could be first. If I had to guess based on the appearance of the plant, which doesn't mean much, I get. But the next plant is philodendron Billy Ty crossed with philodendron El Choco Red. And I will have to do this from memory because it's upstairs. But it is, it's waxy, the version I have anyway. It's waxy. It's not velvety. The back of the leaf is a little bit blush. It's not red like chocolate red, but it has beautiful veining and it's it's not quite heart-shaped. It's heart-shaped in the way that, oh, kind of like philodendron glorious, but maybe just a little bit stubbier than that in terms of the, the outline, like the shape of the leaf. But it's a very, very nice plant and it's quite tough. It's not the toughest, which makes a lot of sense because chocolate red's in there. Um, chocolate red is a, it's a difficult plant for me because it's, it's both easy and difficult. It depends what you're doing. If you're just only the plant, you leave it alone, you get it going, you feed it, you you can literally starve it, you can not water it and it's going to look good for a long time, or you can propagate it and kill it. <laughs> and honestly, that's the two modes that plant has. Billetai, I've not had too many problems with. They're just quite slow to propagate, in my opinion. But generally, really, really nice plant, really nice plant. I wish I brought it down. There's the downside of the microphone. And this is why we can't have microphones every video. All right, back to my list, because I just happened to insert those plants there. I've lost my list. How dare it? How dare it? Oh no, guys, I've lost it. Right, I've got it. I've got it. Where were we? Where were we? Right. Ooh, the next plant I do want to talk a little bit about. <gasps> Nobody moves. 
squirrels. There's a squirrel in my garden and he's so cute. I can't even video him because he's going to run off. <gasps> Little baby. Okay, so the next plant, I, I got some stuff to say on, but I like it and I'm pretty sure it went on my wish list. Can you tell I've started a wish list? I'm starting it, guys. And there's a lot of hybrids on there. So, in fact, yeah, there is a lot of hybrids on there. So the next plant is Philodendron Mayoi by Squamiferum. And you're probably thinking, eh. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's ghosty. It's ghosty, guys. You know what that means? It means we get really creamy white leaves. They fade to a mint and they fade to green. And I love it. And I've never... This is going to surprise you. Well, it probably won't surprise some of you. But I've never actually tried to work this out or look it up or anything. Whenever I've looked up Florida Ghost, for example, right, filled in Florida Ghost, I knew that it was a hybrid of... Philodendron podatum and philodendron is it squ squam squamiferum? Squamiferum, right? I knew that. And I never really, you know, I didn't really think anything of the ghost, you know, aspect to the plant. I didn't really think about it. But I have a picture. This is why I'm looking at my phone. I have a picture on my phone here that I will try and include. And it is a picture of crossing these plants. So we've got philodendron podatum, philodendron squamiferum. That can hybridize to make philodendron florida. And then obviously from that, we have the beauty, which is the variegated one. And we have the ghost. So so clearly, this leads me to understand, at least at minimum, that philodendron squamiferum has some sort of ghosty goo in it because now we've crossed squamiferum with mayoi and we've got this ghost-like variegation. So that's kind of cool. And that makes me think that people need to start doing more hybrids with ghosty things. Because honestly, give me something ghosty, guys, in a different shape and I am, I'm, I'm here for it, right? I'm here for it. But I just wanted to show you it because it's really nice. Um, and I actually really like the shape of that. Obviously, yes, need to see it mature. Obviously, yes, it's going to be different versions of it. But I really like it. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna switch the order of these because this makes more sense. The next plant I want to talk about, guys, is Philodendron radiatum by, I guess, in Florida, Ghost. And if you didn't know, Philodendron radiatum looks a lot like Philodendron mayoi, just for ease, just so you can think about what it kind of looks like. And I could only find the one photograph of this. This was hard to find. It was when I was scrolling Instagram, looking at the hashtag. I did two things. One, I Googled. Two, I looked at the hashtags. This was from the hashtag. And I'm very interested, obviously, because, you know, it might not be too different from the last one. Because Radiatum is similar to Philodendron Mayoi and Ghost is Ghost, which isn't far from Squamiferum. These could be very similar plants in terms of like the vibe. I would predict the vibe is going to be the same. Obviously, this image I'm showing you, it's very young. You can't tell. Totally get it. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, I would love to follow updates on that. The next one is a complete deviation. I've, I've completely deviated now. So I want to show you the Philodendron Imperial Red by Billatai. And it's very nice. It's not my favorite. People that know me by now know this. It is not my favorite, but it might be your favorite. So that's why it's in this list, okay? So the picture I'm looking at is, I think it is the one you're looking at because I organized the images before I filmed this. And it's bronzy like Imperial Red and it does have some elongation of the Billetai. I think it's got more of a lobe on it as well, the same as the Billetai. Obviously, these are all coming out variegated. Again, I don't know if that's a result of the hybrid or it's a result of a little bit of science on the part of the growers overseas. So I don't know, but I do like it. I wouldn't have it for myself though. That's obviously for me, it's the ghosty stuff. It's I've got a cat hair in my mouth. Yeah, it's the stuff with like the weird shapes. It's all of that. So not for me, but here's a plant I didn't know about and I'm cheating here. I'm absolutely cheating on this list because this is not a hybrid. Hi, BB. My cat might genuinely disturb us in a second. So I'm cheating. This is apparently a mutation and not a hybrid, but I want to show you a philodendron pink princess mutation that honestly... I can see it doing well. It might already be doing well. I just haven't seen it. So I'm I'm probably wrongly making the assumption that it's reasonably new. But it does look very cute. And I'm sure I saw a sales listing for this and it, it was a lot of money. I don't think anyone would get that amount of money for it, but it was a lot of money. So this I'm showing you now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll show you two different images and I'll just slap them over my face because no one cares. This is Philodendron Persimmon Princess. 
Uh, again, a pink princess mutation. And it's just, it's just sexy. I think it's really nice. Again, I, I do think the only difference is the bronziness, but it's kind of a nice take on like a pink princess philodendron. Like I completely get it. Um, oh, is it food time? Is that what the problem is? My cats are reading, so you're going to hear some weird noise. <laughs> Obviously that plant's not really for me. I don't love bronzy things. I do like pink princess. I, I know I've said a lot of shit about pink princess guys. I do like them. It's just the way they grow pisses me off. Basically, if you don't feed it and give it loads of light and absolutely pump it full of nutrients it's gonna look a bit leggy and a bit shit so i just kind of stay away from them because i've looked after not every plant but a lot of them okay a lot of them and i've learned that i just like a bit less effort which is why you see the plants behind me basically so it's not for me but it might be for you and that guys is my list of i guess you could call it new philodendron hybrids for 2025 that's not like an absolute factual statement it's just something that i think we're going to see a lot more of in 2025 because because clearly these people, these growers overseas have been very, very busy. So if you'd like another one of these, I will gladly do one. I am trying to find things on different um, plants like Anthurium, um, Monstera, which notoriously has slow, slow progress. Um, but I am looking for stuff. So if you find anything, let me know. If you want me to do more of these videos, let me know. And until the next time, I think we've covered everything again links to the images are down below if you need them i don't know if you would my merch is also in the description if you like this video please leave a like down below it lets me know that i'm making content that you enjoy and if you would like to and you're not already subscribed i would love it if you could hit that subscribe button because only 50 percent 50 50% of people that watch my videos subscribe. The rest of you just go on with your day and I would love to have you here. So if you fancy it, please hit that button. Right, I'm gonna go. I have to film a very quick unboxing of stuff that's come through the door. So I will see you next week. Bye.